My friends were quite surprised when they first heard that I was involved with steam engines, but quite a few of them have actually seen me in action now, at either, either here at Midland Railway Centre, or at uh, Barrow Hill, or Wexworth, where the engines have been. The reason I, I, I got involved with steam engines was because it was something I'd never done before. It was a completely new challenge, and interesting to learn all about it and have to a huge learning curve, um, giving support to my husband, and getting dirty really. I don't mind getting dirty, so that has actually been a lot of fun. It all started a, a very long time ago. Uh, as, a, as a child, I was looking over the wall, waiting to wave to my dad going past on a freight train. He was a goods guard at the time. And there, shunting in the sidings, was a Royal Scot. It was just a magnificent beast. And once bitten by the bug, you know, you get steam into your blood and uh, you can't get it out. Well, after watching locomotives pass on the main line, on branch lines for quite a while, suddenly Mr Beeching came along and there were no more locomotives to watch on the main line or the branch line. So in 1968, uh, myself and a group of friends got together and said, well, if you know they're all being scrapped, let's see what we can do to see if we can save one or two. And so that's what we did. You know, we were only teenagers at the time, but off we went. We couldn't actually buy one off the main line as so they were all being sold to scrapyards and you know were well beyond our pocket money but uh, there was one or two in industry. When the children were old enough to do their own thing and I started to be a little bit um, not enough to do, don't like private housework is not a priority, neither is shopping um, which seemed to be the main things that women are supposed to do that there came the opportunity to get involved. The, this, the Whitehead had been restored. It was ready for its 10-year run, so to speak, um, and a fireman was needed. And I happened to be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> it was suggested to me that I might like to be involved. Um, so I decided to have a go. When I first told the children that I was going to become a fireman, train them to become a fireman, they were quite um, surprised, proud. Um, I'd never shown any interest, particular interest in getting involved before, so they watched very carefully and very closely at my progress. And they were, they're still very proud of what I do. They've all become, they've come on the engine, they've all had a go, they've seen me filthy dirty. So now to them is second nature. There's no surprises anymore. Packet number 1163 was built in 1908. Uh, at the Atlas Works of Peckett and Sons of Bristol. When it was built, it was actually built for Kevin Stetty Colliery, which is a colliery um, near Clenethley, or was a colliery near Clenethley in South Wales. Now it's due for uh, a major overhaul and the overhaul started. The boiler's been put to one side, all the tubes have been taken out of the boiler. The main frames have been lifted off the wheels and the wheels have been taken out. All the components have been stripped off the, off the wheels, it's the axle boxes. Um, some work needs doing on the crank pins. The main frames have been completely cleaned down, all assessed, and all the parts that have been taken off all being completely cleaned and assessed and uh, being repaired as necessary. During the part of the restoration, the part of the restoration which involved pulling the tubes out, when we mentioned it to our daughter that we were going to be involved with that, she was very keen to come along and have a go. I think having seen her mother getting filthy dirty, she quite relished the idea and thought it would be a good chance to get fit and for a while as well. Um, she came to join us on one morning and had a, a thoroughly good time, came, was quite proud of her dirty hands and dirty face when she went back. Um, it was good to work with her. For both of us, it was a completely new experience. Now there's support tubes out before. Um, and it, it was very useful having her there with me because she's a little bit taller than I am. And she provided a lot more muscle power than I would have been able to do by myself. So it was very good teamwork. While, whilst we were removing the tubes, we had quite a good process going on. Whilst I was in the back end, hammering the tubes forward to release the the expanded part, which was actually in the front tube plate. Once this was done, 
Marnie and Dawn were able to pull the tubes forwards a little bit at a time, releasing the scale. And while they were doing that, I was on to the next tube. A lot of people might think, um, people who get involved in railways, or any sort of hobby, are anoraks, that they can or become sad people because that's all they do. I think that you have to be very careful that you have you can keep a balance in your life, and that if you're doing it all the time, then it might be that it'd be a fairly accurate title. We might be sad, and it might be an obsession, but because we keep a balance in our lives and we have lots of other things, lots of the hobbies and lots of the things to do, then it's just another hobby rather than obsession.